Rue? Claire. How's it looking outside? I think it stopped snowing. I just saw some stars in the sky. It's strange. What's wrong? The sky. It's really clear tonight. It's hard to believe we had a snowstorm for the past three days. I don't know. I found it a little strange. You're thinking too much. It's probably from staying inside the house for so long. Maybe. I know. Why don't you take a little trip tomorrow? I'm sure the weather will be perfect. I think you could really use the fresh air. Yeah, I think I will. I'm going to leave at dawn and go to the stream in the valley. And if I see a here, if I see a herd of deer there, I'm definitely going to catch one. They often go there to get water. So if I catch one, um yes, I'll make your favorite stew. Better yet, I'll prepare a great feast tomorrow. I'm counting on you to catch a deer. No problem. You're going to have a long day tomorrow. You'll need to eat well and sleep well tonight. I'm going to prepare dinner, okay? Hey guys, welcome to Let's Play Threads of Fate. I'm Matt. I'm Matthew. 124578. Wow, rabbit stew. Smells good. All right, but uh, yeah, this is my new Let's Play. Um, I have to remember to take my scarf tomorrow. Yeah, so um, I'm gonna start my Let's Play. Okay, let's eat. Oh, I'm so hungry. What's wrong? Why aren't you eating? I was just thinking. About what? About the day you came here. It was snowing that day too. That was two years ago. Can you believe it? Are you alright, Claire? I'm fine. I'm sorry, Rue. I don't know... What just came over me? What's going on? It's, it's coming from the barn. Something's disturbing the animals. I'm gonna go take a look. Be careful, okay? Don't worry, it's probably just a wolf or something. Yeah, just a wolf. Alright, yeah. So this game is really emotional, and it, it will get emotional later on, as you'll see. Jeez, what's going on? They're going crazy. This won't be a rage let's play because I'm an expert at this game. Well, self self proclaimed expert. There's no sign of an, a wild animal or there's no sign of a wild animal or anything. At last. Oh god. Remember this is a PSN download, so it might be a little laggy sometimes. Who are you? Rue! Oh my god, Rue. The thing is a monster. Ugh! Hey! Whoa. Leave him alone, you beast. Claire, run! Rue! Clear! Wait! No! And so my journey began. I'll find the powerful relic and save Clear, no matter what. Yeah, so this game, um, Clear basically died, and they don't go out. Rue just, like, got lost, and he came to Claire's house. And Claire took care of them, so they're not really going out. So, um, this game will get emotional as we will see, okay? Alright. It's been, uh, it's already been three years. And I still don't have a clue where the relic is. I don't, don't worry, Claire. I'm not gonna give up. Hey, bro, I'm starving. Oh, jeez. These two morons. Smokey, how many times do I gotta tell you? I'll feed your fat belly when I get the dough. And it's coming real soon. Hee 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 hee. I guess my brother blood always comes through. So, bro, how are we gonna get the dough? 
Keep your voice down, butthead. All right, listen up. A legendary treasure? You serious? Yeah, it sounds cool, huh? I heard some magician made it, and it's hidden somewhere in this area. If we find the damn thing, we're gonna be so rich. Hey, bro, you're a genius. So what is this legendary treasure? How the hell should I know? It's legendary. Oh yeah, it's probably something big. Sounds like they're looking for the relic too. I gotta find it before they do. Hey bro, what is that thing? What, the red thing? Remember that he said that the red thing. What the hell? What's going on? We're gonna crash! Oh shit. Whoa, well, okay. <laughs> okay, we, uh, we got hit by something that apparently is red. <laughs> Rue's just like, what the shit? What the heck was that? This place is, it looks so familiar. Have I been here before? Welcome to Corona. Oh, hello. How you doing? My name's Davis. I run the docks here. As you can see, it's pretty slow here. Not many tourists come in. Mostly merchants. The same people that just come in and going out. Oh. Yeah, I recognize most of them. Hmm. Never seen those fellows before. Alright, Smokey, let's go check out the forest. There's some kind of old ruins there. The treasure must be there. Hey, <laughs> okay, bro. And they're gonna... Better watch out for those, for those fellas. Looks like they're up to no good. I will. There are ruins in the forest? Maybe I should go see. So now we're gonna go to the forest first thing. Alright. Now, if you walk around and keep pressing X, you might find some coins, like bronze coins or silver coins. It really happens, but, you know, I don't think there's any in the beginning of the game. No, there isn't. That doesn't hurt to look, though. Yeah, I don't, <laughs> I don't think there's going to be any. I think these are washrooms. And I don't think you... You can't double jump or anything, but the controls are standard. You jump with a circle. You attack with X and triangle, and you transform with square. You'll, you'll get into... I'll get into this more later on. Oh, I love the Corona theme. I can't believe I'm finally glad to play this game. It's my, one of my favorite games of all time. So this is Corona. Seems like a pretty peaceful place. What should I do? Should I go to the forest? Now we're talking to the people in the town first. We're going to go to the forest. Because the people in the town, they really don't know what they're talking about. So right here is the gate. And when you press X next to it, you can select you want to go to the Corona Forest. And we're going to get the part. And now right here, it basically tells us where the control are the controls. So... We, we obviously move with the directional buttons. And press circle to jump. And, mm hmm Press X or triangle to attack. You gain MP by attacking. And the MP bars up there indicated by the circle effect. And you attack X. It's a single hit with X. And you can keep doing it to make a combo. like. And uh, triangle is a spin attack like that. So I'm going to show you. Just like, uh, like that. And you can transform into monsters by collecting monster coins. We'll do that in a minute. Now, there you go. You attack that by a circle. Or that, that attack was a triangle, and this standard attack is X. And this is obviously a triangle. It is easier to cross the swamp by transforming into a polywog. Hold down the triangle button and choose the polywog with the directional button. So you just... Yeah, you can turn into animals. It's pretty awesome. Beat shit out of this thing. To transform back into Rue, hold down the triangle button, or the square button, and choose Rue. It's really... Ooh, look at this thing. Can you move with this? You can't move. This sucks. Ooh! Wait, wait, what, what was that attack? Nah, yeah, this one's... I, what's the point of this one? <laughs> anyway, when we attack this thing, it opens up and gives us coins. Acquire three bonds coins. The bronze coins allows you to continue when your HP becomes zero. The silver coin and gold coin allow you to continue your game as well. You can find these coins in treasure boxes and other places. So basically, yeah. <laughs> it's not that hard to... Well, basically when you die, when you use those coins, you can come back. We already have... Oh shit! And 
that thing is a saber tooth tiger. That thing is amazing. So you can level up your um, enemies. Like when you when you kill these enemies, you can go to the store and uh, sell their souls and you get money for it. You know what? I'm really getting my ass kicked right now, dude. Piss off. But um, right here you can check the amount of. Uh, oh my god. I just need to get used to the controls. Um, right here it says we killed eight polywogs, two tigers, and one mandola. And we have 13 bronze coins and the controls. Yep, that's it. This game's real fun too, it's not that hard. If you find this game, well, you know what? It can get hard at some points. And just because you can, just because the game told you to cross the swamp as the polywog, you can still cross this rule, won't hurt. And when you kill enemies, you'll find little potions falling out of them. The blue one is the uh, healing potion, and this little hair, the gel kit, that little gel thing, that's a uh, MP. So the um, the sour candy one, that's the sour candy right there. It gives us uh, HP, and this one right here, I think it's the no. Hang on, I want, I want, I want some hair gel. That's the hair gel thing right there. So you might, you might, you might, you might hear me say uh, sour candy or hair gel, but the hair gel is the MP. And the sour candies, the HP. Don't get me confused, guys. I'm sorry. Or the perfume or something. You'll know what I mean. Yeah, it's pretty fun, pretty fun game. He he he. Oh, the fat guy. The fat guy's left. The hell are they doing to that girl? What the? Please let me go. Come on, baby. Oh, jeez. We ain't gonna hurt you. We just want a little food. That's all. Oh my god. <laughs> we haven't eaten for two days, you know. Hey. Smokey got no money for dinner. <laughs> Eater. <laughs> what do you say, baby? Got anything to spare? I don't have any money. <laughs> Let's rough her up. Oh, jeez. <laughs> this could easily turn into a porno right here. What should I do? I have to be careful or she might get hurt. You turn into a polywog. This is good. Hey. Hey, bro. We got company. <laughs> It's just a polywog butthead. Where am I? Here, yeah, please, let me go. Shit, I'm gonna bite you. Yo, 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 yo. Mm. Wait, come on, I wanna Oh, I, oh, I, I bit the fat one. Yo, bro, he bit me. Alright, let's chop him up. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I'm done. I'm done. We're gonna turn back into Rue immediately and beat shit out of these guys. Oh, God. Oh, shit. Come on now. Fat. Come on, fatty. Or, man, that one. Oh my God, you are such a really, really tall one's not a fair fight for you, fat ass. One on one's not fair enough. I take that. She can't fight on an empty stomach, you know. Dick. Hey, bro, wait, bro, wait for me. <laughs> he does like a, like a cannonball. And Rue's gonna get laid. Ooh. Hey, baby. Are you okay? Thank you, Polly. Wow, you can turn into a person, too? Polly? Oh, no, I'm not a polywog. This is the real me. But I saw you when you came out. You were a polywog. That was just a disguise to catch them off guard. Bitch. My name isn't Polly. It's Rue. Okay. Your name is Rue, and you're not a polywog. And you're a polywog. Rue's just like a fucking bitch. I really like Polly. Can I call you Polly? Um, how should I explain this? Oh, I'm sorry, I haven't introduced myself yet. Thanks again for helping me, Polly. Polly D. <laughs> my name is Elena. Gee, if you hadn't come, I don't know what would have happened to me. You would have got raped, my friend. What are you going- What are you doing here? This forest is very dangerous. There are monsters everywhere. I came to look for my parents. They've been gone for five days now, and I- And- I know they're here somewhere. Those brutes might have- Might go after my parents- I have to go find them fast, Polly. It was nice meeting you. Hey, wait. I'll go with you. Let me help you look for your parents. Oh, really? Gee, you're such a nice person, Pollywog. Thanks, I really appreciate it. You're such a nice Pollywog, sorry. Okay. Okay, let's go, Polly. Follow me. I'm not a Polly. Gee, that girl really thinks I'm a monster? Maybe I am. As a determination, maybe I am, bitch. I got a monster dick. <laughs> I, th I think it's this way. Come on. So here's a coin we can get easily if we race her. 
So we can go, oh shit, we can go as the uh, tiger and just like completely outrun her. And circle, we can jump uh, better with circle. And if we transform back into, oh shit, if we transform back into Rue, and oh, you bitch, don't beat me in this race. You bitch, no! Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, shit. Piss! What an asshole. I don't care what you have to say. Shit. That is not fair. But if you uh, beat her there first, uh, you get a uh, coin. Bullshit. Alina, what are you doing here? All the music. What am I doing here? You haven't come home for five days. I was so worried about you. Dad, what happened to your leg? Oh, it's nothing. I just twisted my ankle a little. I can still walk. Phew, thank goodness. I'm sorry, darling. I didn't... I guess I became too caught up in my research again. <laughs> I can't believe you came here by yourself. Are you alright? Actually, some brutes almost mugged me and Rue the Polywog saved me. Rue the Polywog? Hello. You're... That's Rue, but I call him Polly. Polly's really amazing, but he's a Polly, but he can turn into a person. He's a Polly. Uh, but usually he is a person, and his name is Rue, so I called him P Rue the Polywog. Hold on, honey, I'm getting confused. <laughs> That's Myra. So, your name is Rue, right? Yes. It's a pleasure to meet you, Rue. My name is Klaus, and I live in Corona with my family. Oh, and that's my wife, Myra. She's like the most badass person ever. Hello, Rue. It so sounded like you helped Elena through a lot of trouble. Thank you for helping her. Yes, thank you. Gosh, I'm so ashamed. I completely forgot about my daughter. The relic was the only thing on my mind. Relic? Are you looking for the relic? Well, yeah. I'm looking for the relic, too. Well, this is a coincidence. So, Rue, why are you looking for the relic? And he tells her, and he tells the boss that, like, about his crush. I don't know if he dates Claire at the end of the game or if Claire does or something. I'm not sure. So you came to Corona to look for the relic. Yes, I have to find the relic no matter what. So he's trying to save Claire, obviously. Sir, is this is there anything you can tell me about the relic? I'm sorry. We just have met and I'm being pushy. My, you're serious. You're so serious. Ah, uh, don't worry about it. If I were in your shoes, I'd be just as earnest. Earnest. So if there's anything you want to ask me, please don't hesitate, okay? And it's not sir, you just call me Claus, or doctor if you must. Oh, by the way, I'd like to ask you a favor. Yes, anything. I was thinking, it's a, if it's okay with you, why don't, why don't we look for the relic together? Of course. I'd be happy to. Great, it's decided then. Thank you, Rue. Let's do our best to find the relic. Yes, thank you. Well then, let's get started, Rue. Can you can you please follow me on Twitter? <laughs> Gee, it's so steep. Somewhere down there, there's a path that leads to the atelier. What is an atelier? French word for workshop. It's a magician's workshop. Haha, <laughs> it's a French word for workshop, anyway. Supposed to be about 100 years ago, a magician lived in this forest. We believe that the magician did some research on the relic. If we go to the go to his atelier, maybe we can get more information about the relic. If the if the legend is true, there should be some kind of special area down there. The path that leads to the atelier should be hidden somewhere there. But as you can as you can see, the cliff is so steep we can't get down there. Before you two came, I tried to get down there, but I ended up slipping and twisting my ankle. I can do this. Doctor, I'll give it a try. I'll get down there somehow. You're kidding! I'll try safe I'll try to find a safe path. I'll meet you all down there, please take your time. Are you sure you're gonna be alright? I heard there are monsters looking all about these cliffs. I'll be fine. I'll sur I've survived greater dangers before. It doesn't matter. I'll do whatever it takes to get the at to the relic. I'll do whatever it takes to get the relic. Be careful, alright? Good luck, Polly. Thanks, I'll, I'll see you all later. That's cool. I, I, love, I always love that. I had a demo of this level, so I know exactly what I'm doing and where I'm going. And we can kill that thing. Kill that thing. Oh, you shit. 
We're gonna try to get some HP as you can see we're no dead. So we're gonna collect as much HP as we can. Over here is a secret rock, but we need to turn into a secret animal, which we can't do yet. We'll come back to that. And we completely missed that enemy. Shithead! Die. Give me that HP. Oh no. Oh no. Alright, so this is just an easy game. If you're a beginner, it's pretty it's gonna be pretty difficult, but if you played it about a hundred times. Oh shit. Alright. Alright, and that's ooh, and we jump to the trees. <laughs> and right here, we can't attack that statue. We're gonna come over here. Look at this. Gargoyle face. Face the gargoyle? And that's a little puzzle hint. So Oh shit, a gargoyle. Oh shit. Buddy. Damn. Okay, so I kill I got his uh I really should never have done that just quite yet, because I still have a gargoyle to kill, and he's gonna take some HP off of me like a dick. I can't oh I can't oh that was a stupid move. I could have saved five hit points. What we're gonna do here is uh, be a gargoyle and step on this thing and face him. And then it creates a ladder for us. That was real tricky as a kid, I can never figure that out. And that's all you do. And it leads us to the workshop. Well, the Atlier is what we call in this game. This is the Atlier? I really hope we find some clues in there about the relic. Oh, I hope we will. Let's go in! Oh shit! Oh, well, what was that? Oh god, it's a horse thing! Looks like... Looks like John Pike! Jeez, the Atlier has, got, has a guardian? Oh god, John! Sorry, it's Flame 189, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to, um... Oh jeez! Oh shit! John Pike has um, decided to um, butt into our uh, oh shit to our let's play part, and he throws us. John, that's really not necessary. Come on, man. John, 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 John. Oh my god! I'm not being smart. I'm just being an idiot right now. Cause oh shit! You gotta fight him, and like when he jumps and lands, that's when you hit him. I'm being an idiot and taking hit points. Oh shit, I killed him! I hit his ass! I hit John Pike right in the ass, and there you go. Sorry, I have, mo I have to move on. So that boss can be really a pain in the ass. Oh my god. <laughs> well, I did get a... That, that, that sucks. Rue! <laughs> we, we heard some terrible noises. Are you alright? I just fought the Atler's Guardian. Alina, and, all right, and you beat him? Yeah. Well, I'm sure it must have been a tough battle. Polywog Roo can handle anything. How's your leg, Doctor? It feels great. After I saw the Atlier, the, plane, the pain just disappeared. Wow, I can't believe we're here. Okay, Roo, let's have... Let's go on, let's have a look inside. It may be dangerous, so you two wait out here, okay? Alright, let's uh, just go in, I guess. And you press X to open doors too. So, <clears throat> yeah. this is absolutely amazing. Look at all these old documents; they're incredible. So now we're gonna find some treasures in here. We're gonna be able to sell when we go back to the town. Over here's coins, I do believe, or a moonstone. Whoops. All right. And over here, the deep side of this, there's a. A silver coin. Silver coins are pretty good. Silver coins allow us to uh, enter the game again with half MP. The bronze uh, allows us to re return with no MP, so it's shit. Moonstone. And ooh, we can see Myra. Myra Shira! Alright. This is gonna be a calm let's play. I think the Spiral Let's Play is the only rage one I'm gonna do for now. Do two at the same time. I don't think that was a good idea to do. Because <laughs> midterms are coming up and shit. Check the vault. Obviously, what we gotta do. The door's huge! Looks like it's locked. I wonder what's inside. Knocks on it. Here, let me take a look at it. Hmm. This is rather tricky. I 
Aha, there's a switch. Ooh, switch. Oh, look at that. Books or some shit. Amazing. Dema this manuscript must have been written centuries ago. Can you read it? Oh, not a problem. Analyzing ancient manuscripts is one of my specialties. Polly, so we gotta go doors while she calls her name. Before she calls it out too much. Polly, come here. Look, your friend is here. Oh my god. Plano, you're such a dipshit. I'm only here because your dad told me with the relic. I don't give a shit about you or your damn polywog. Polywog. So we can't we can't turn into a polywog. So we can't even hurt him. He can't hurt us. So we're going we're gonna go back in and learn more about the manuscripts we found, because that's more important at this point. Well, I finished skimming through this. It's a diary that was kept by the magician. It has detailed records of his research. It appears this magician was doing research on the creators of the relic. The creators of the relic? Yes, they were known as Aeons. About 1,000 years ago, powerful magicians called Aeons ruled the world. According to the same legend, these Aeons have had the power to change the orbit of stars. I heard there was no more Aeons in this world. That's right, despite their godlike powers, they were, they were not immortal. As, they, as time passed, their powers weakened and eventually they all died. Now all that remains are the items they created many years ago. And those items are the relics. I heard some of the relics have the power to grant any wish. They're all hidden all over the world, right? Yes, they're all just waiting to be found. I don't care how long it takes me, my dream is to find at least one relic. If you find a relic, what are you going to do? Hmm, I, I have no idea. I haven't thought about that yet. Right now, I'm just excited about looking for it. I guess I'll, I'll think about it after I find it. I see. How about you, Rue? Huh? Oh, um, what a stupid question. Oh my god, it's the girl we've seen in the, uh, the beginning screen. We're talking about a relic that can grant any wish. Even a kid can figure it out. There's only one thing to wish for. World domination. I'm going to rule the world. Oh god. Jesus. Okay, guys, hand over everything you found in here. You got a problem with that? Didn't think so. Okay, come on. Chop, chop. Hey, I don't think... Wait. Hey, I don't think you... <laughs> hey, I don't know who you are, but we are not giving you anything. Hmm. <laughs> you actually have a death wish. I'm Princess Mint. Mint. No one says that to me. Just for that, I'm gonna beat you to a bloody pulp. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. What are you, what are you doing? Crazy bitch, what are you doing? Doctor, please stand back. Um... What? Did she kick us? Oh, she fell. Okay. Hey, are you alright? Uh, world... Domination. What should we do about this girl? <laughs> Let's take advantage of her. <laughs> We can't just leave her here like this. <laughs> Let's take advantage of her. Whoa! Hmm? Wow, you're a crazy bitch. I guess I'll spare both of you for today. You guys are so lucky, but remember this. I'm going to rule the world someday. Remember that? Ouch. Ooh. Then she runs away like a little bitch. What was that all about? Hmm. She reminds me of someone. Oh, well, let's get going. Reminds me of Mint. Or, reminds me of Elena, actually. Your daughter. Deep shit. And, uh, we're done. We're done the level, basically. And, yeah, those are basically all we do. And there's, I don't know, like, ten levels like this, and they take a while. Thanks again, Miss Cartha, for letting you stay at your inn. Oh, don't mention it. Rue, make yourself at home, okay? Thank you. I really appreciate it, but is it really okay? Of course. It's the least thing we can do. Rue, you've done so much for us. You helped Elena in the forest. You helped my husband with his work. Actually, it's more like a crazy hobby, huh? Thank you. Oh, I almost forgot. Klaus wants to talk to you. Maybe he wants to talk more about today's findings from the Atler. Come by whenever you want, okay? So, what did we do this episode? We went to the forest, fought a bunch of dicks. And in front of the flag, I do believe, or... Man, I know for a fact that there's a coin around here. Shit. Whatever. Anyway, um... Yeah, we learned more about... We, we met a friend and we are one step closer to the relic. 
because we found someone who knows how to read manuscripts and we're close to the relic. Hey, can I help you? We're go oh, see all this stuff? We're gonna sell our monsters. Sell that moon those two moonstones. And we're gonna buy this one and this one. We're gonna buy these two uh, when we can afford it. So I'm gonna show you how to save because saving is a really important thing about this game because if I turn the game off right now, I'd have to do all that again. How you save is you go into the inn And then you talk to the girl, Miss Cartha, or she says hello. Are you here to register or take a break? We're going to recover and register. Register is how you save. And uh, this is my old account, my practice file. And we're going to go into number six. And that's how you save. That's it. So we're going to confirm. Wait. All right. So guys, I'll see you next time on uh, Let's Play Threads of Fate. See you later. That's a pretty good episode. Hope, hope people actually watch it though. Shit. Dicks.